All right, what up, everybody? This is Chris doing a review on a G-Shock by Casio. Uh, I got this out of a company in New York. Got it through eBay. You know what they say about ordering G-Shocks through eBay, but you do your research. You make sure everything is what it says it is, and you should get the real thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got the real thing. Uh, this is what it came in. This is your average tin. Everybody knows that. This is the box, and here's the model or module, whatever you want to call it. Come on, focus. There it is. GAC100RG7ACR. RG, of course, stands for rose gold. Uh, and that's what that is on the inside there. This is your obvious warranty card. Everybody knows that. Nobody gives a shit. There's the module number and instructions, 5277. Read it thoroughly. Tells you exactly everything you need to do to make that watch last and work perfect. Uh, this is the tag, retails for 170. I did not pay that price for it. Um, I don't know, I've had it for about a week. I, I don't know. I can't say today if it's worth that money. I guess we'll find out in five to 10 years if it's worth that money. Um, but nobody cares about the rest of that crap. This is what everybody cares about the watch itself and they did an amazing job on this watch as far as how it looks style what you look for in an analog watch I guess you could say this is all analog sorry about the shininess it's just really reflecting off of there isn't it either way this is all rose gold tone on the inside, I say tone because obviously it's not real rose gold. If it was, it would cost a lot more than $170. My wife's ring is rose gold, and I paid way more than that for it, obviously, but it also has diamonds in it. Besides the point, we're on to watches. Um, damn, I can't get rid of that reflection. And focus! Anyway, one day it'll focus. There we go. I apologize, everybody. Uh, but this is your basic. It has the date of the month. Like I said, it's analog. It's not going to show the day of the week. Your seconds are on the left dial. Your second hand is set at 12. That is for your stopwatch. You have the stopwatch settings, start and reset and your uh, screw down crown which you have to unscrew to set the time and date and make sure you screw it back tight for that water uh, resistance the effectiveness of it or else you know your warranty's fucked uh, this is pretty cool actually how this works um, spins around seconds ticks each second so you know how long has passed and at this one down here, it tells you basically if you can break it down, I guess you can get minutes out of it, but it's mostly for hours, up to 12 hours. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically all you got with this watch. Analog function with stopwatch, and it looks beautiful, I'd say. But it's pretty cool once you stop it, what it does. There we go. Spins right back. Pretty awesome. Uh, there's not much else to it, really. I mean, as you can see on the back, it's got the model number. Anti-magnetic, shock absorbing, of course. That's G-Shock. But yes, it is anti-magnetic. 20 bar or 200 meters water resist. Uh, you know, you can't obviously go that far underwater with one of these or any of... Uh, your standard G-Shocks like this unless it's got a helium release valve. Hopefully you know that So I really wouldn't test the depth of water. You can go swimming, tubing, shower obviously, rain obviously recreational scuba diving, but If it involves helium just like if you read the module It'd tell you that. If it involves helium. You can't use it. They gotta have a helium release valve But I'm not going scuba diving. Most of us aren't 
you got money for scuba gear, you're buying probably an Omega or a Rolex. But who gives a shit about that? It's not a review on scuba diving. It's a review on this awesome watch. Uh, I love it. It's got the double holes for the band, double clasp. Everything looks really good on it. It looks amazing. I was worried a little bit when I got it, if it was real, coming from the company I got it from. Price was still expensive, but not 170 bucks. It does say cased in China on the back. My mud man says Thailand. I know this one's real, but I also know that one's real because I did, like I said, my research and some are being developed in China. Not, I can't say the entirety of the watch is developed there. I don't know. It says cased in China. The class says G-Shock Casio China. Okay. I absolutely hate a lot of stuff that comes from China. It's all garbage. But this is not garbage. It's very well made. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, comment below. Like. Subscribe. Do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, I haven't seen too many reviews on this. I hope you guys like it. Thank you.